Bill Cunningham, the great American, with attorney Stephen R. Adams, I would say this. Respect police officers. Love cops. But say no, no to the popo. As the officer is coming up to your car, there's two or three things that person should be doing right at that moment. What is it? That's right. Get your license, proof of insurance, and registration together. Get it out before the cop gets there because one of the things they're looking for is whether or not you're going to fumble it or you're going to give your American Express card to them instead of your license. Next, officer knocks on the window and say, uh, roll down your window. Should the motorist do that? Yes, roll down your window. Because if you just crack it, that's kind of goofy. Just roll your window down like a normal person would. And then the cop's going to ask you some questions about your ID, which you've already given him. And then he's going to maybe catch a whiff of alcohol. And he's going to ask you, have you been drinking? What should someone do when the cop says, hey, you've been drinking tonight? Don't lie. Because if you have, don't say, yes, I have, and admit it. What do you do? In America, what do we have in America, Willie? The right uh, not to incriminate yourself. And we have lawyers. Lawyers. So what you say is, officer, before I say or do anything, I want to talk to a lawyer. Have you lied? No. Have you admitted anything? No. Have you asserted your God-given right to a lawyer in the United States of America, particularly the great state of Ohio, yes. Now, cops, are they're, they're skilled at trying to get evidence. They may play good cop and say, hey, come on, you know, well, this will go fine if you just admit. I'll go easy on you. The courts will go easy on you. Or he could bully up. He could be a bully. Should you say, I'm not moving? No. No. This is what you do. You say, officer, before I say or do anything, I want to talk to a lawyer. Consistency is key. Officer, before I say or do anything, I want to talk to a lawyer. If he does ask you to get out of the car, get out of the car. You do have to get out of the car because he has a right to investigate, and he also has a right to protect himself for his own safety. If he fears for his safety, he can ask you to get out of the car. So get out of the car. If you don't, you'll be charged with obstructing official business. And we don't want any charges like that. So get out of the car. And when you're out of the car, he'll say, sir or madam, let's do some physical test at the scene. Since you claim you've not been drinking, but you haven't done that, Let's take a finger to nose, heel to toe. Let's see what's going on. Should you take the physical test at the scene? No. Field sobriety tests are completely voluntary. They're not mandatory. You cannot be penalized by not taking them. So why take them? He's going to fail you anyway. He's got his mind made up. He will fail you on those goofy roadside gymnastics. So don't do them. The less evidence, the better for you. Now, the next step is, okay, you're not cooperating. You have not admitted to anything. You have not failed the test. He then says, well, you're under arrest. He believes that you're impaired by alcohol. He believes you're under the influence of alcohol. That's an opinion. DUI is really the only crime in America that is based upon one person's opinion. Opinions are only as good as the evidence that supports the opinion. You haven't given them evidence, so you've got a fighting chance to prevail in court. But let's say he arrests you and says, let's go down to the police station, take the intoxilizer. What do you say? No. Say no, no to the popo and choose to refuse. You don't want to give them that chemical test evidence. The less evidence, the better. Stephen R. Adams is my friend. I have seen practically every attorney and judge in the tri-state practice, either from the bench or in front of the bar. I know of no attorney better at DUIs and OVIs than Stephen R. Adams. I'll say this for him. Stop by the man. Call the man. Thank you, Willie.